channel. Today is going to be a laid back day and I say that lightly because I always say it's going to be a laid back day and then it never is. It's always very, very busy. So um, today we are just going to be working around the house. I need to do laundry. I need to mop the floors. Um, I just mopped. That's why you hear the dog's little feet pattering walking through the house. I just mopped where they sleep so their bed's not there right now so they're kind of freaking out. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to take you along with me today. We're going to see what we can get into. Um, I know that I need to, um, I need to change sheets. Like I said, I need to do the floors. I need to do a big clean out on the fridge. Like I don't have a bunch of stuff that I need to throw away, but my shelves are so dirty. So, um, I need to get in there and clean that out today. I did put in a small Walmart order. Um, just some like little knickknack stuff like snacks and um, I got some cookies that I'm gonna make some sugar cookies for the kids um, and got some green icing we can maybe <coughs> oh goodness decorate those tomorrow for St. Patrick's Day um, I know I want to do that I can't remember what else was on the order but I'm gonna pick that up it's gonna be ready here in about an hour so I'm gonna go to town and pick that up probably grab me a McDonald's coffee unless I make one here at home y'all we live in such a small town like there's no there's no Starbucks Dunkin's nothing <laughs> we have a Walmart Dollar General Dollar Tree we have two Dollar Generals a Dollar Tree that's it. <laughs> and we have like a Maurice's and, and kind of clothing stores like that. But we live in such a small town. Um, there's nothing here. So I'm going to either grab something at McDonald's or I'm going to um, probably just make one at home because I would rather grab like a Diet Dr. Pepper from McDonald's if I was going to grab something. Um, so we're going to do that. I haven't fixed the little one's breakfast yet. So we need to do that. Can you tell them hi? Tell them hi, Missy Hair. So we even brushed that hair this morning. You can't even tell. You can't even tell. Can you tell him hi? Um, I did start, Gavin didn't take his lunch to school today, so I am going ahead and washing his lunch box, sanitizing it. I'm gonna hang it up to dry because next week, they have today and tomorrow, and then next week they're on spring break. And I do hope to get some vlogs filmed next week um while my hubby he's actually off next week too um it ends up being his rotation his days off at his work so that worked out really nice so i'm gonna sanitizing gavin's lunchbox getting that good to go i'm gonna hang it up to dry so that it's ready for when they do go back to school and yeah we're just gonna take you along the day this one here is kind of stuffy and snotty um so we're just gonna be hanging out today your hair is so red today it's so pretty and red. Let me see the pussy. Can you tell him hi? Where's Adeline? Where's Adeline? Do you see her in the video? Say hi. Say hi. All right, so I'm gonna get her some breakfast made. Probably gonna have a cereal bar and a um, um, scrambled egg, and we're gonna try to tame her hair. Do you have messy hair? You have messy hair. Can you say hi? All right, so let's get into making some breakfast. Adeline's and then I'm gonna see I'm gonna give her this first before I give her a cereal bar but she is ready to eat come on let's go she's like please mom bring my food let's go so that is what she's having for breakfast scrambled eggs and blueberries okay you guys this is my breakfast this morning um ignore the chip in my plate y'all i need to get some new dinnerware <laughs> some new plates all of my plates chip we have granite countertops and it's like if they just ding a little bit on the countertop they chip i need to put those in my amazon store so i can remember to buy them y'all i always have my amazon store linked below um but this is what i'm gonna have for breakfast we're having toast with guac 
everything but the bagel seasoning, scrambled eggs, and then yogurt and blueberries. And little miss is working on her second breakfast. She plowed through those eggs and blueberries, so she's having more blueberries in a cereal bar. She is so hungry this morning, aren't you? Is it good? Is it good? You're kind of stuffy, huh? So, we're going to eat breakfast, and then I need to get to Walmart and pick up my Walmart order. <coughs> to go to town we're in the van loaded up um my groceries have to be picked up by 10. i got a notification that one order is ready and i forgot some stuff so i put it on another order and um it's not ready yet so i don't know if i'm gonna have to have, to have my hubby pick that up on his way home it's not anything i need right now so it's okay um but we're getting ready to head to town to do that everybody's loaded up we got dishes cleaned up breakfast cleaned up um the kids beds are made i need to get in my room today and clean and i feel like i might stop at the dollar store i forgot to put cleaner on my walmart order and that was one thing that i guess that is something i need i put on that second order was windex to clean my glass shelves in my fridge so i may stop and get some cleaner i don't know i need to get my fridge cleaned out today i just want to tackle it it looks cluttered it's full it just needs organized um i am ocd about that <laughs> i like to have an organized fridge but we got a little miss loaded up back there and mr corbin um they didn't really want to leave the house but i have to go get this picked up so we're gonna do that come home i'm gonna clean up the house i need to clean my bathroom and my bedroom and continue doing laundry today i do want to change sheets today that's in the works um and just kind of tackle everything prep us get us ready for um spring break which y'all know is next week and um yeah i don't know if i inserted clips yet i may have to try and do that later but we got another dog <laughs> i know call us crazy um but I, there was a lady on my Facebook, well, a, sh a lady I knew, she's like a friend, but she had a labradoodle that she wasn't able to keep, so um, I talked my hubby into it, we discussed it, and um, we got Miss Boomer, so she's super sweet, she's running around with Mabel out in the yard now, um, I'll have to try to get some clips later if I can, if not, th she'll be at some point in a, in a, in a vlog, um, but she is super sweet, she knows how to set, fetch, um, and we're just going to love up on her, so let's get to town i'll do a grocery haul when we get back and show you what i got all right we just got back from the store stopped at mcdonald's and got me a diet dr pepper just needed it <laughs> um okay um i'm gonna go ahead and do this little haul i didn't get much guys but this adds up because i did get a bulk item there and some extras <laughs> um that i didn't need what happened is let me turn you guys around okay what happened was um, the hubby woke up at, Russell woke up at 3 a.m. to let the dogs out today, and I could not go back to sleep. So I was like, oh yeah, I need to order some sausage biscuits. I'll just put in a small order and then pick it up today. Because Fridays are really busy. Here, I'll get in a minute, buddy. Fridays are really busy because the boys have speech in the morning. So we get Coralie on the bus, and then the boys go to speech at 9, and then I take Gavin to school. So he... He typically eats breakfast at school, and since um, he has speech, and then he goes to school, breakfast, of course, is over by then. It's almost lunchtime. So, um, I went ahead and got these sausage biscuits, and then I was, like, got tr um, intrigued, or they got my attention by the um, St. Patty's Day, St. Patrick's Day stuff. So, I did pick up some stuff for that, um, and that is tomorrow, and I don't know what's going on with my hair. Um, that is tomorrow. So I got lots of treats I'm going to send in their lunchbox. And then tomorrow night we're going to bake cookies and decorate them. And then I just got some green chips. So I just thought it would be fun for them. Um, and that's pretty much all the all the activities we do for St. Patrick's Day. Um, so I'm going to flip you guys around show you what we got. All right. First off, first off I was thinking some low-calorie English muffins sounded really good. 
and I will probably stick these in the freezer and then pull them out when I need them. But um, I couldn't find the low calorie. I don't think Walmart has any low calorie. So I just got these 100 calories, um, eight grams of fiber, Thomas um, light multigrain English muffins. I thought these would be good tomorrow morning um, to eat for breakfast. I have an eye exam tomorrow. My husband has an eye exam tomorrow and then he also has to go see the foot doctor tomorrow. So it's a full day um, and I need to get kids where they need to go. So I thought this would be an easy breakfast. I was out of the extra virgin olive oil so I got one of those. I have some drink flavoring. This is the strawberry pineapple and it sounds so good. What do you see over there? Do you see Boomer? Huh? Do you see Boomer? So we got that. And then this caught my attention. <laughs> Look what mommy got. Look what I got. Um, these little 4th, not 4th of July. We're, we're not there yet. These St. Patrick's Day cookies. They're just the little, um, like the shiny sprinkles. I thought this would be good. My husband loves stuff like this. So they'll probably have a couple of these tonight. I want to pack a couple on their lunches. And then this was on the St. Patrick's Day, um, St. Patrick's Day little list on the Walmart site. The sour cream and onion, I guess because they're speckled green. I don't know if the kids like these, but I'm going to see. Um, and I'll send some to school with them if they do. And then this, I wanted the green version, but they didn't have it. Um, but I thought the kids would enjoy this for a snack or maybe for breakfast this weekend. But it's the Lucky Charms. It has the leprechaun trap on the back. So the kids will absolutely um, love playing and doing all that. So we got that. These are great for like Monday mornings. Corbin has speech at the school. And then Fridays he has speech at the hospital. So this is our Monday morning go-to. Something easy I can stick in a bowl for them to take on the road with them. Or this will be good for Sunday morning breakfast. Like I said, I got sausage biscuits. I think this was eight or 10 bucks, but you get um, 12 individual packs that come with two biscuits. So there's 24 biscuits in here. Corbin usually only eats one and then Adeline will eat one and then Gavin and Corley will eat a whole pack. So this is a super easy breakfast for them when we are on the go. And then tomorrow night, I could make sugar cookies, but this is just easier since tomorrow's going to be so busy. I picked up this um, Pillsbury cookie dough, sugar cookie dough, and then this cookie icing. I know this isn't that much icing, but I figured we could just like drizzle it over. So we have that to do tomorrow night for St. Patrick's Day, and I already have sprinkles if they want those. We have some whipped salted butter, some bacon because I thought it sounded really good for this weekend. I just picked up this bacon. I thought it would be good in wraps for lunch or maybe um, Corbin quick breakfast. We were out of aluminum foil. I got a diet Pepsi for a pick me up sometime this weekend or today maybe. <laughs> it's much needed today. Even though I have a diet Dr. Pepper over there. We might, we might need that. Um, and then I just got some of this ammonia free streak free shine Windex. Y'all this was like $4 but it lasts me forever. So um, I'm going to use that in my fridge in a little bit to clean. I'm going to get the kids some lunch. This is my small haul. But yeah, that's what I got for Walmart pickup. All right, you guys, we got everything put away except a couple things. And then FedEx came by with a order that I placed for Gavin some swim trunks because he's outgrown his. These are size 10 to 12. I can't believe my baby boy, I say baby boy, my firstborn is in large children clothing. He's growing like a weed, but he picked these out. He wanted Minecraft ones, but they had like skulls on them and I'm not a fan. So Corb, Corb, Corby, no, no, buddy. No, no, buddy. Um, so he picked out Spider-Man. These were $11.98, which I didn't think was terrible. Um, they didn't have many options on the Walmart site in his size. They're already already sold out. So we got these. These have a little pocket on the back. Um, very soft material. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash those. They have the drawstring, so I know they'll fit. Um, so I'm not gonna have them try them on, but we got those for him, and then yesterday, a lady at my son's school had a life jacket, so I got this for Adeline um, to go in the pool. I mean, we're going to be holding her, but this just gives me a little 
a little breathing room and is this not the cutest and it looks brand new so we got this for her for the swimming pool and then she already has swimsuits that we had from Coralie carried down and then on my Walmart order if you guys seen that it'll go up before this one um, if you haven't go back and watch it but I got the kids these um, goggles for Coralie Gavin and then Corbin's and oh my goodness so cute and I think these were $6.98 each and these were $4.98 so we plan on getting a swimming pool this summer so the swimming pool that I want to get this summer I want to get one of those hard back pools not like not like a legit fancy pool <laughs> because those are expensive but last year y'all seen we had that blue blow it pool and um it was fine but we have the puppies now and i'm afraid their their little claws will poke a hole in it because they're complete mischief so um i want to get one of the harder back pools and put that up next year or this year i guess so i went ahead and bought the swim goggles because i knew that we would definitely get use out of those so anyways i need to put that stuff away or wash that stuff get their swim stuff washed this weekend the hubby has his new fire gear and he take it downstairs because he's still waiting on pieces for it but y'all look at these puppies all right so this is little miss boomer she loves the kiddos what are you doing sir corbin what are you doing the doggies have been playing their little hearts out this morning boomer sit Boomer, sit. Good girl. I need to get you treats, don't I? Sit down. Don't jump. Boomer is a wild little turkey. Aren't you, Boomer? Sit, Boomer. He's a good girl. She is a labadoodle. Labapoodle? Labadoodle. Labadoodle. She's a good girl. She came from a girl I knew. She just needed more running room. And that girl is so happy to know that we have all the acres out here. A couple acres for her to roam on. And little Miss Mabel doesn't know what to do to keep up with her, do ya? Hi, Boomer. So there's Miss Boomer. She definitely looks more lab than poodle. Don't ya? We need to get you some treats, don't we? Yeah. There's Mabel Babel. Oh, you gonna lick my camera? Thank you. Thank you. All right, so that is Miss Boomer. She's a hyper little crazy puppy, but we are so blessed to add her to our family. So we have Rebel, who's, he's an old man. Um, Annie Bell, who you always see walking through the videos here. <laughs> um, Gizmo, we have Boomer and Mabel. So we have five puppies. Um, we had huh? Boomer, yep. We had three cats, but I feel like I know that one went to Kitty Heaven. Um, I seen her down the road today. So, or him down the road today, not her. Seen him down the road today. So, little shadow went to Kitty Heaven. Um, I don't know if she got hit. I don't know that I want to tell the kids. I need to tell the kids because they've been asking where she's at. So, I guess I'll tell them that he went to Kitty Heaven. Um, and then the other two, I don't know what happened to them. We live out in the country. I don't think... I haven't seen any coyotes here. We do have them here, um, and I have heard them, and I've heard foxes. I don't think they attack the cats. Um, I know Shadow, which is our big cat that we had, our big Tom cat, we call him the barn cat. Um, he kind of wandered off, so I don't know. I haven't seen him again, and when he came back that one time, he didn't look very well. And then the gray cat that we had, I don't know what happened to her. So I don't know. We're gonna wait on getting cats right now. We just got the new puppies. Um, so we're gonna wait on getting kitty cats because we're not having the best of luck with them. I don't know if little Shadow, I'm guessing he got hit by a car. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna tell the kids that he went to kitty heaven. We don't need to go into detail. Hopefully they don't see him on the side of the road. It was further down the road from our house. Um, we shall see. But I'm gonna get to cleaning up my bedroom, I think. I really need to clean my fridge, like I told you guys earlier, but if you can tell in the background, we have a fussy pan saddle line, and I'm not gonna be able to do that while she's grouchy, cause she'll want to me the whole time. So I think I'm gonna go work on my bedroom, change my sheets, get that done, and then give her something to eat for lunch if she's hungry. She doesn't have much of an appetite after that big breakfast. And then see what we can get into, cause I need to tackle some stuff today, so. They're watching the doggies. Are they playing? <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit.
guys, lighting's not the greatest, and I get really hot in the face. I am so hot natured, guys. I'm about to change into shorts. Um, it's warmed up to like 52 degrees here in Indi Indi in Indiana today. Um, I got the bed made. I have a basket here of hubby's work clothes. I have a my all my covers that I just took off the bed. They need to go downstairs, so I'll start those in a little bit. I've already started a load of laundry. Um, I stuck some fish sticks in the oven for the kids for something simple for lunch. They don't really have much of an appetite. Adeline, I don't know if it's teething what? or if she's getting um if she's getting a cold, but she don't really have an appetite. She's kind of snotty, but it's kind of hard to pinpoint because she was getting a tooth in back here. So I don't know. It could be both. It could be both things coming in. It's turned into a very dreary day. Um, we are supposed to get rain later. I'm looking forward to that. Actually, I love a good rainy day. <laughs> um, and I've got my running done early this morning. So speaking of Little Miss, there she is. But I'm going to get these clothes folded, put away, and then put this stuff in the basket. I don't know how much vlogging I'm going to get today. Because like I said, Little Miss is just having breakdowns right now. She's just having a bad day, aren't you, honey? You just don't feel the best, do you, baby? Yeah, it's rough, isn't it? It's just rough, honey. Yeah, I know. So... So I'm going to give her some snuggles and um, fold this laundry and we'll see where we get today. I hope that I can get some more footage for you guys. Tomorrow I have that eye exam. My husband has an eye exam and um, he has to get his foot worked on. So it's a busy day tomorrow. I was planning on vlogging tomorrow. We shall see <laughs> what I can get done because little miss here. No, no, Adeline. Adeline, no. No, baby. Little Miss here is just not having it. So let's get this stuff going so that I can snuggle her before lunch. you guys it is a while later it's 2 19 um and i gotta tackle this this fridge it's horrible um i did change shirts i was trying to film a video earlier and it didn't work out so um i changed shirts i'm gonna wear this one i had on a t-shirt earlier i actually got hot in that one because it's really thick so this one's a lot lighter um but i'm going to get inside this fridge take everything out one shelf at a time and then go through expiration dates and then pull it and clean off the shelves. I'm not going to take the glass shelves out because they're hard to get back in. The hubby's not here to assist and I don't want all that chaos. We just want to clean off the shelves, make it presentable because you guys, I'm going to show you what it looks like. It looks horrible. <laughs> it's so packed. Now, I did just get groceries, so there's that. But I'm sure there's stuff in here that I could probably toss out. So here is an overview Y'all, she's just packed full, and my shelves down. We gotta order a new drawer here. This one broke. Um, that's gonna be coming. I need to have my hub, um, husband order another one. This is just got crumbs, and it's just not organized how I like it. Um, and I know these drawers need to be gone through. And little Miss Annie Bell is just waiting, aren't you, Annie? Annie Bell, are you waiting? She's like, I know you're cleaning up that fridge. Um, so I need to go through this stuff. All these probably need to check the dates on. And all of over here. So let's get to cleaning out this fridge.
Okay, you guys, I got it done. It doesn't look as cleaned out as I'd like, but let's start up here. So, pickles and cream are in the back. This is all breakfast pizza stuff for tonight. I moved the eggs up here. We've had these a while. I need to float test them. My husband got them from a lady at his work. Um, she's super sweet and brings us eggs. Um, so I need to make sure those are still good. This is like leftovers. We have sausage, potatoes, and behind that is cabbage we had last night. Um, fish sticks from earlier. Leftover soda that's probably flat. I probably should have tossed it. This is crowded down here and I don't love it, but it's what I have. Um, two milks, my almond milk. The kids have just a tad bit of chocolate milk left that I surprised them with. Um, tea and lemonade, Adeline's lemonade from earlier. And then we have regular yogurt, Greek yogurt, butter, sour cream, and cheese, cheese dip back there. And then this is like extra veggies that aren't going to fruit. That's not going to fit down here. So we have blueberries and strawberries, kiwi, lettuce, salad mix, and coleslaw. My janky drawer, but <laughs> it works. It's actually nice. You can just reach in. Um, we have garlic, lettuce, apples, and oranges. These are like the two things I always keep down there. Um, that's something, whoops, mushroom and lettuce that I know the kids will eat. And then this drawer, I just moved like that bacon I bought earlier. We have a little bit of bologna left, some ham and turkey lunch meat. I left the cheese sticks out front so the kids could find them. The cream cheese, parmesan, parmesan sliced cheese, all the... Um, this is Parmesan shredded cheese and then block cheese. So cheese and meat drawer there. And then this one I leave for like kids to reach into. So I organized our fruit cups and I do have some more. I could put more here, but I'm going to wait until they eat these first. My pick me up drink for later. We have these splash water bottles. The kids love some leftover yogurts and then the cookie and icing I bought earlier. And then I really um, got rid of a few things in the doors. I organized it to where this is like hot. Well, this is tartar sauce, so she's over here alone. But we have some jalapenos, the Taco Bell sauce, my favorite, y'all know, Machalula, and Frank, I think this is Frank's, yeah. Knock off Frank's hot sauce, that's the Aldi brand. This one is like the sauce area, um, Worcestershire, white wine vinegar sesame oil and soy sauce down there that's i kept those together up here this is just a random mix of stuff i have my better than bouillons beef and chicken or chicken and beef up here we have extra condiments from like mcdonald's and wendy's here um we have some mini chocolate chips that are going to be used for my um, peanut butter pie sundae a little fruit pouch that we have one left i need to move that down so i don't forget i have it and then these two shelves, I kind of made it where the kids can access them. Um, I need to put another ranch in here. But this is stuff that the kids will eat. So Corley's honey mustard, Gavin's ketchup, um, mayo, jelly, barbecue. Like that's everything the kids will want. Um, and then over here we have some homemade salsa from that lady that gives us the eggs. She gave us some salsa. My favorite favorite red onions and then we just have random sauces like chick knock off chick-fil-a sauce um knock off the secret sauce honey mustard um i think this is thousand island so just a bunch of stuff that um we don't really need that often so i put it there that way it's not in the way but y'all my shelves were so dirty and underneath this huge drawer um i pulled it out all the way out and put it on the floor i don't know if i got that in video or not but he was so dirty back there underneath like how does food even get underneath there um there's still some spots i couldn't get to there um that need to be cleaned taken apart one day and clean but i don't want i don't want to make time for that <laughs> so overall I think the fridge turned out good. It's organized at least now, like everything has its spot. I didn't really do much with the freezer. I didn't really clean it out because I tried cleaning like these little marks off and they wouldn't come off. But we have meats, more meats. Um, you might have seen me switch this out. I forgot I bought sausage crumbles for breakfast pizza. So I froze, that, froze that um, pound of sausage I had. I will use those for church Sunday. And then here we just have fruit. So we have some frozen bananas, strawberries, blueberries. Um, I don't have anything in here, but a few, I think those are pumpkin seeds. And then this here, I organized this. So we have our ice packs. Um, these will be used Sunday for peanut butter pie, kids breakfast sandwiches, breakfast back there ice cream these are leftover pancakes that i froze so 
I feel like we're done pretty good at like eating down on the stuff that we have and and using it quite nicely. So now I need to clean up um, the stuff that I, that, that I did pull out um, and I'll feed it to the chickens later. Um, we have about an hour until the kids are home. I feel like I want my pick-me-up drink. I also feel like I want another iced coffee. So I don't know what I'm gonna end up getting. I am hot though. I should just change into shorts. It's very warm outside and I actually think it's supposed to rain within the next hour or so. So I'm so glad I got that done. That's checked off my list. I need to go switch over laundry. Um, I need to start my um, sheets and stuff, but I didn't want to go in my bedroom and get that because little miss is still sleeping. And we all know that kid needs a nap. <laughs> she is so, so exhausted. Um, so I'm going to start the dishwasher and then I'm going to pay bills. I am getting supper ready. I already cooked the bacon and I was giving the girls a bath and I might have cooked too long, but it's okay. We're just going to crumble it up on pizza. I'm getting ready to get it off that pan. Um, we have eggs. I think I'm going to go, go ahead and do a whole dozen of them. Um, and that way if we have leftovers, it's fine. Um, I'm going to do this shredded cheese. I was going to do mozzarella, but I'm going to use this. I bought this and I don't remember what I bought it for, but I think it'd be good on pizza. Two pizza crusts. This is that Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles and then we're just going to do one pack of gravy. I think it'll be plenty. Um, we don't have to have a really thick gravy on it. So I'm going to make two pizzas, one bacon, one sausage, and we're going to have breakfast pizza and some yogurt. Can I help you? Yeah. You want to help me cook? Yeah. Okay. Your little hair is all wet. <laughs> yeah, my hair is wet, isn't it? Is your hair wet? Silly. All right, so let's get to making this pizza. We have the dough rolled out decent enough. Gavin's poking holes in it. We're getting ready to bake it. Little Miss Coralie over here is poking holes in hers. Your hair is in your face. We're gonna have to fix your hair better. She does not have brushed hair from a shower. We're gonna have to brush your hair in a second. Oh, well, that's good. There we go. All done. Now let's fix that hair. There we go. Now look at your hair. All better. It's off your neck, isn't it? All right. Let's get to making these scrambled eggs. All right, you guys. I am exhausted. I'm getting ready to make my plate. Um, the kiddos are already eating. I got them set up over there. Getting ready to make my plate. I was going to take a, bit, or take a video before I cut it, but I forgot. So we have the sausage breakfast pizza, the bacon breakfast pizza, and then I'm going to top mine with these sweet red onions and Cholula. And then I will have some yogurt and blueberries. It's a hot mess over here as I was making plates, but I will end out the video after we get done. I'm going to show you my supper after it's made up. And we're gonna get ready and call it a night. Okay, so here is my supper. Um, I put the red onions, Cholula, and then yogurt with blueberries. Y'all, this is so, it's gonna be so good. So, we're gonna inhale supper and then do the normal cleanup and get ready for bed.